Today we have some exclusive images from inside the body in white building of Tesla Giga Berlin. You are seeing what is happening inside because as the building is already closed, it's becoming more interesting what is happening inside Tesla's Giga Berlin buildings. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next tesla story so today is december 2nd and december 2 and our friend jurgen has published and shared four very unique pictures it, he has called them a secret inside into the body in white biw ground floor in the uh, in this uh, first in the first floor which is the first floor of the building among other things you see the offices canteens uh, are located here and uh, uh, Jürgen is crediting this picture to a construction worker from Tesla Giga Berlin. You can see a large space, a work is being done, there is still some dirt, technology uh, is working there, looks like they're making either a concrete or something like that and uh, I think this building is going to have a totally different shape in couple of uh, in couple of months. So this is the body in white building. What is body in white in the Tesla Giga Berlin? This this building is where the frame of a car's body is joined together. Um, it is often the point where the final contours of a vehicle's body are worked out in preparation for the stamping process. In summation, uh, the first few steps of a manufacturing a Tesla vehicle will occur in this building. This is where things will happen, the first few steps. This portion of the facility still sports, as you can see, a dirt floor and construction vehicles are still working um, within the facility to put the final touches in before working on the interior. You know, since Tesla began the construction process of Giga Berlin in January 2020, the company has shown that its accelerated building process will erect a new production plant at record speed. Uh, the contracted construction crew at the facility utilize a prefabricated methods to ensure a fast and efficient building processes of each structure. I have reported extensively at this Torque News uh, YouTube channel about the prefabricated method. In fact, that was the report that Tesla CEO Elon Musk also shared on his Twitter. You know, some portions of the building uh, are put together at a separate location and then transported to Giga Berlin's property for installation. This is what uh, prefabricated methods uh, method is and this is really innovative things here. Tesla doesn't plan to begin the first production pushes of the Model Y at Giga Berlin until mid or early 2021 the official is uh, july 2021 but i have had reports based on them i have said that it may be a little earlier a couple of months earlier however some pre-orders um, have received emails like i said indicating that they should prepare for delivery in the first quarter or even the beginning of the second quarter so ultimately tesla will begin manufacturing and deliveries uh, manufacturing and deliveries in 2021 at giga berlin at some point but that exact date isn't known yet and who can tell the exact date even tesla cannot date there are so many things that can happen that can be unexpected as you build such a huge factory uh, regardless giga berlin will be nothing like any other already existing tesla production plans it will have a world-class paint facility about which um, tesla ceo elon musk has already reported and it's expected to produce battery cells for tesla cars making it one of the most most robust and technical plans that the automaker will have in operation. In fact, I think it was last week, several days ago only, that Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that Tesla will build the largest, world's largest battery, electric vehicle battery factory at Giga Berlin. And it was just yesterday, actually two days ago on Monday, that Tesla received a permit from the German government from Brandenburg's uh, environment ministry uh, from Potsdam uh, to uh, and this permit allows Tesla 
to um, cut trees, to fall, uh, fell trees in 82 hectares of uh, land. Hectares are not acres. They sound similar, but they're not acres. So uh, this is a huge piece of land that they need to clear from pine forest and plant other trees elsewhere because of that and uh, to build pipelines and prepare the ground for production. Tesla does not officially say that this will be a, uh, the, actually the word is it's, it's going to be a storage, but Tesla does not officially say that it's going to be the place for the uh, production of the battery fab, uh, fa uh, uh, factory, but it looks like this is going to be that because they're going to make pipelines to start the production. We have already reported that there are already opponents on that and uh, because people living there are afraid that hazardous materials will go in the air but uh, they and they want to ensure the government also want to ensure that uh, tesla should follow strict environmental guidelines and tesla has been good in following strict environmental guidelines for that see my previous reports friends if you go to our youtube channel's uh, video section to see um, what is going to happen there now all of this is going to bring a lot of jobs to the area um, and in fact it's interesting that uh, Brandenburg's public radio RBB24 has an article published Tesla curse or blessing for regional job market so and says Tesla plant could become Giga Berlin could become the largest private employer in all of East Germany not only the Berlin area but in all of East Germany the factory is to start with 7,000 employees later to go to 40,000 people potentially could work there and how does Tesla intend to do this and what does that mean for the regional economy Philip Barnstorff who has in interviewed Torque News on Giga Berlin has some details saying from managers, chemists, engineers, car mechanics, painters to unskilled assembly line workers. The US car manufacturer Tesla is looking for more than 100 different professions for its plant in Grünheide on Oder Spree. The company is already eagerly hiring as skilled workers and managers with university degrees are rare these days therefore tesla often has to poach them from other companies alone because of this notice period the advance notice is required the company has already secured the service of Rene Reef. The 57-year-old uh, person is currently still in charge of the Mercedes plant in Berlin minefield, but he should switch to Tesla in January 2021 and is also considered a hot candidate for the position of plant manager. Tesla could benefit from downsizing at the competitors. You know, if competitors are downsizing and there's uh, people are coming to work for Tesla, you know, obviously Tesla is going to benefit from this. Uh, so Tesla uh, um, is kind of um, Californians are benefiting from an economic development when it comes to recruiting skilled workers. For example, Mercedes and Marinfield and Rolls Royce in Dauflitz uh, are currently being restructuring, says Thomas Kuhn from the East Brandenburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry. This frees up employees from high quality industrial jobs Tesla can be an attractive alternative for them. So this is the good news because this is going to give these people a new opportunity to work in the automotive industry, especially in the electric automotive industry and such an exciting company like Tesla. In addition to advertising on its website, Tesla also uses unusual methods when it comes to hiring. Just one day before his last visit to Grünheide in early November, Tesla uh, CEO Elon Musk asked engineers in proper style by tweet to email their applications and he will personally look at them the next day there was a quick interviews in the market shift tent on the construction site uh, that famous tent that I have reported before uh, under the motto 25 guns uh, 25 cannons a troubleshooter troop came out which is supposed to streamline processes after the uh, corals in the last few weeks on the construction site now Tesla wants to pay more than the regional average wage in addition several employment agencies from the regional uh, in from the region have jointly opened an office in Berlin to specifically refer people to Tesla 
Tesla. For example, the first 200 logistics employees are expected to sign contracts with Tesla in early 2021. The employment agencies under the leadership of Frankfurt Employment Agency have planned further application days in December. Um, even if Tesla wants to use a particularly large number of modern robots on the production lines, most jobs at the Grünheide plant are likely to involve rather simple assembly line work. Tesla could do a lot here because the Californians want to pay um, unskilled employees. I mean, the California comp company Tesla wants to pay uh, the unskilled employees 2,700 euros as a starting salary. That is around 20% above the regional average, says Thomas Kuhn from the IHK. In a nationwide comparison, however, this wage would be in the middle and the car factories in Stuttgart and Ingolstadt the employees earned even more but you know keep in mind this is a starting uh, uh, salary so things are going to go well I think in the beginning and uh, let me know friends what you think about the inside work of the body in white building which like I said is the place where Tesla where um, the frame of the car's body is joined together and thank you Jürgen for these images I appreciate them and please friends uh, let's like this video to show our appreciation of Jürgen's work and all of our friends work who send us constant information from Giga Berlin in the meantime let me know what your thoughts are this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com please like this video it helps us tremendously and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and I'll see you in our next report have a wonderful rest of the day and everyone peace be with all of you and see you soon in our next report